Uh, welcome back everybody to the Mortimer Snurd 2 channel and today we're going to be reviewing something for you guys. So, 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 so as you can see right here, this is the new Bob Dylan box set, Springtime in New York, the Bootleg Series, Volume 16. For, for those of you that don't know, I am a big Bob Dylan fan actually. I listen to his music all the time, and also Tom Petty and Johnny Cash. If you want me to buy and review some of those types of items from them, let me know in the comments. But today, this is something that I'm excited to show you guys about, the Bob Dylan Springtime in New York box set. This is... Now, for those of you that don't know, Bob Dylan has this running series called, well, well the bootleg series, where, where he, where he releases some stuff from his past albums, unreleased stuff from there, and, and he officially releases them so they don't get bootlegged to somebody else, else. Um, I do that. Fun fact, actually, about Bob Dylan. He is the most bootlegged artist in the world. Because back when he made the basement tapes, I might actually buy the basement tapes box sets set one day. But anyway, when, when he and the band were recording the basement tapes, um, the publishing demos that they sent, sent to other artists um, um, uh, um, uh, were being d d distributed in 1968 and got bootlegged on vinyl in 1969 with the bootleg album uh, um, uh, 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 The Great White Wonder and I am not going to buy The Great White Wonder because I don't have a record player and it's not on CD, it's just on vinyl because it's a bootleg album. So, so we're just going to stick to CD albums. So anyways, enough talking. What do you say we get this unraveled and see what this album has to offer? So this is, is as you can see, the bootleg series. 16 volume album it is very big compared to other box sets but not entirely um, so what we're gonna do is you can see there's there's two different things things right on the side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up and just have them all slide out like that We'll pull this one out first, and I'll show you what this one is. Is first. All right. So right here now we have a picture of Bob right there, circa 890. Nope, between 80 and 85, because this is when they cover that. Like, like, like some bootleg series sees volumes be. Um, they cover certain years. This one covers five years worth. So, 1980 to 1985. That's Empire Burlesque, Shot of Love, and Infidels. In, in this album. So, 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 so when we open this one up, and we look, it's got another, it's got another picture of Bob. And this chart here of the people on it, this is probably them, um, them doing, doing a track or something like. They usually do this for one track. It's like if you see up here in the corner, um, the track title that they were working on that day is Joker Man, the project Bob Dylan. I guess they didn't have a title for it and stuff and stuff. They just, uh, they just did random things on there. Then. This is a brief book description, or this was a set list, I guess. I guess, um, 
for it for the album. This was 1166 right there. It's got Serve Somebody, Senor, which was at first Simple Twist of Fate, Rolling Stone, all kinds of stuff. And I don't know what they were for, I don't know, but you can see here that it lists all the songs that are on one disc. It's got disc one. These are these are five discs. This version of the album, and it and this one goes through all kinds of stuff. And then we get to the main CDs on the back. So disc one, that's the rehearsals. I think it it says it on the back of them. But there's disc one right here. This is disc two, right right here. Then disc 3 right here disc 4 and then finally disc 5 and you can see right on the top where they recorded Ch Ch Cherokee Recording Studios in Los Angeles very interesting actually and some in New York let's close this up so this is the actual album book right here and then this one right here this one right here this gives you I think this gives you a run through of everything like like it describes Bob's state of mind in here and all kinds of stuff of him uh, talking about others about like other albums and stuff that's a good picture of Bob right there. It talks about the recording sessions for some of them. This is an alternate photo right here of the album cover right on the front. And it just goes through all the album stuff. But this is a very neat, very neat book to find. And actually, if you look in the back, right there, there's a flipped photo of the album cover. But if you look in the back, it'll show you, it shows you an alternate cover of, actually, it'll show you alternate cover, an alternate cover of Shot of Love right around here. I, I don't know if it's this page or not, but I'm going to just keep looking. Some of them, I think it might be around here, I don't know exactly if I can find it if I can find it. well okay there's the there's the cover for Empire Burlesque I think I'm getting close maybe I don't know and there's the cover right there for Empire I think I'm getting I think I'm getting close I don't know whoop okay okay well then uh then I guess you kinda get the point maybe I'm getting close wait uh nope Contemporary Christian. That's what they were naming Bob back then. They've got like, I know it's in here. I see now. I want to find it because I, because then you guys will think I'm a liar. Right there. Like there's, like there's the cover for I'm a Joker man. I'm as the single and all kinds of stuff. And judging by this, this was the alternate. This was the alternate cover for it. This was the final cover. Oh, and here we go. Two pages back. Okay, here we go. Here's the alternate cover for Shot of Love. Right here, up at the top, right there. That's the actual cover. This is another alternate cover with the dark letters. One right here, Bob, Bob picture, Bob's picture. And then one right here, where it... Where it doesn't have the shot of love words in it. So all in all, this book book covers everything like behind the scenes type stuff about Bob. Very very nice thing to find, and I highly recommend you guys get this. Now, mm, now keep in mind, there's different types of this of the bootleg series. Like some have some like there's. There's just single CD versions or something. This one was the the deluxe or the super deluxe edition. 
I think, I don't know. But right here on the back, it lists all the tracks on the forum. Whoop, sorry, I bumped the camera. <laughs> but yeah, right here on the back, it lists all the song titles on the discs. Like disc one is Senor Rehearsal, To Ramona Rehearsal, She Just Met the Woman. Um, so disc one is it is the rehearsals. Disc two is outtakes from Shot of Love, and disc three is the Infidels outtakes mixed with mixed with alternate takes takes same thing with uh, disc two for Shot of Love. Like they have outtakes and they also have alternate takes for some of them. And then on the and then for disc four it mixes infidels dells outtakes and alternate takes again because there were a lot of infidels outtakes that's what they had there and they the, the, and the rehearsals I guess guess have the Empire burlesque and then disc five is the live albums that's where and that's where Empire also comes into play like like they played some of these live now one of these I have seen in a video before License to Kill live on Late Night with David Letterman I have seen that in the video before I will link that down in the description below and I'll tell you, tell you that one that I've seen it in so so all in all I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on this album so in conclusion guys do I think that this album is something that is worth a um, to get for yourselves 100% yes like if you are a Bob Dylan fan or maybe not even a Bob Dylan fan you can actually listen to this and see the differences between like what the songs were going to be versus what they ended up being and that's very cool to think about, actually. So, yeah, I actually think that this is a good, good item f for you guys to get. And if you want to get this, I will link this d d d d d down in the description below. So, yeah. So, so, so anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and 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 hit the like button and turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I upload a brand new video on, on, on this channel and if you guys want me to do more videos like this let me know in the comments and I will do that so anyways guys that's going to do it for this video it's been Mortimer and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.